Pat and Jeff talk about just a senseless shooting, and tonight that deputy is here in the hospital in critical but grave condition. Surveillance video shows what happened moments before Deputy Joe Solano was gunned down. You could see him walking into this jack in the box. A few moments later, the suspect gets out of his car and walks into the restaurant. Then you see customers running out in panic, including the suspect. Jason Biaba was working at the Jiffy Lube next door. He says Deputy Solano was getting his mom's car serviced before the shooting. While he didn't hear the gunshot, he saw the suspect drive off. He drove off normally, like if nothing happened. Until that customer, the, uh, the guy that I was talking to, turned around and he was like, "Oh, that was him. That's that's the man who shot the other guy." Deputy Solano was shot in the head and rushed to the hospital. Sheriff Alex Villanueva says Solano is a 13-year veteran and worked in the custody division. He describes him as a family man. His dad uh, tragically passed away just a few months ago, so he was a sole provider for his mother, caregiver. Authorities say the suspect is 30-year-old Rhett Nelson from St. George, Utah. He was taken into custody in Long Beach after police say he went into a church and called his dad in Utah. Homicide Captain Kent Wegner. During that call, he referred to committing murder in Southern California, obviously concerning his father. The father called Long Beach Police Department to report what his son had told him. Homicide detectives made the arrest and took him into custody. As for the motive, that's unknown, but detectives believe it was random. We're also learning that Nelson may be tied to another murder in central L.A. just an hour before Deputy Solano was gunned down. And the suspect's being held on a $7 million bail. He is expected in court later this week. Reporting live from County USC, I'm Chris Holmstrom, CBS 2 News.